it took three of the higher ups to come tell me the reason why they're not going to allow me to donate my blood. More plasma center problems. Another Buffalo man wants answers tonight after he says he was rejected as a blood donor at CSL Plasma. And it's the second time a person has come to News 4 looking for answers after being denied the chance to donate blood at CSL Plasma. News 4's Shannon Smith is here. She looked into the latest incident for us tonight, right, Shannon? That's right, Don. CSO Plasma actually advertises that they will pay people to donate their blood. Marchant Yales says he went to the Buffalo site twice to donate, but was turned away. And he says it's because of where he lives. See, this is the folder I brought. I brought more identification and proof than they needed. Marshawn Yales says he thought he was well prepared when he went to donate blood at the CSL Plasma Center Monday. According to the company's website, potential donors must bring a valid ID, their social security number, and proof of residency. Yales says he had all three, but was still rejected. They have some database, and they typed my address into this database, and it came up as this was not an accept an adequate address. Yales says he brought a piece of mail which shows his address as Transitional Services. He lives in an apartment building in Buffalo run by Transitional Services Incorporated. It's an organization that helps people dealing with drug or mental health issues. For Yales, it's mental health. I feel judged. Why am I not allowed to give somebody the gift of life, the gift that they deserve? He says the staff never asked any questions about his living situation, which he says is permanent, or his health. Marchant is a resident at our facility and has permanent resident status. Yalis says a CSL manager told him if he came back with a rental agreement signed by his landlord, then he'd be able to donate. But even when he went back Tuesday with those papers, he says he was turned away again. Yalis says he wants others to know of his experience. That word transitional is what they judge their decision on. But what they're telling me is temporary housing. If you're couch surfing, for example, if you're at a homeless shelter, that's when you're supposed to be denied. Now, I reached out to CSL Plasma tonight. Their spokesperson directed me to the area on their website, which says potential donors are required to bring proof of residency. Well, I asked about Yale's specific case on why he was turned away, even though he had proof, but I'm still waiting for that answer. Shannon Smith, News 4.